Here's my next guest. Back six days a week here on Channel 56. Wally's on from 4.30 to 5, Monday through Friday, but by me from 5 to 6 on Video 1. And then on Saturday nights, hey, he comes on from 10 to 11, and I follow Video 1 with Hot Seat. Can you believe it? Are you ready? Richard Blade and Wally George back to back. Well, I don't know if I'm ready, but I hope you are. Make sure you're watching KDOC Channel 56. It's going to be great. We need you, folks. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is the final segment of our show. Before we get to our last guest, I want to invite you people here in Southern California to a very special event. Uh, on, on September 23rd, Tuesday night, September 23rd, I'm going to be appearing in concert at the, the world-famous Palomino Club in North Hollywood, and I'm going to be singing some of the songs from my new rock album. What do you think? Yeah! I'm going to be there uh, with my band, the Sound Waves, and uh, Richard Blade is going to be there, and Rudy's going to be there. Yeah. Rudy Krauss. So, oh, yeah. And there's no age limit. Anybody can come, all ages. That's Tuesday, September 23rd, 9 p.m., but get there early, about 8 o'clock, at the Palomino Club in North Hollywood, Tuesday night, September 23rd. Be sure you be there, okay? Yeah. All right, now our, our final guest, I can't believe this, but uh, he's the, uh, the head of the Flat Earth Society. He, he says the Earth is definitely flat. Here is my guest, Charles Johnson. Let's hear it for Charles. Now, Charles, oh, now, Char you, you can't truly be serious and, and, and believe that this Earth is flat. The Earth is flat. The Earth is flat is one of the few things that you can ever know for sure in life. It is the only sure thing, you know, they talk about death and taxes being sure, but the earth being flat is much more sure than that. But oh. Charles, I mean, uh, you, you didn't give the rest of our name. It's the Flat Earth Research Society. But, we have research. We have but Charles, flat. We, we have seen pictures oh, of the round globe. Are you serious, Wally? I mean, in other words, your proof is... In other words, your proof is I saw it on TV. No, I've seen it I mean, from an airplane. I've seen, it's oh, round. Oh, you can it from an airplane. But Ch oh. are you saying everybody else is wrong and you people are the only ones who are right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. But don't get excited. The average... The average person over 40 or 50 years old knows that the Earth is flat. But Charles, if the Earth was flat, you'd go driving along or you'd be in a boat going and you'd reach the end and you'd fall off the Earth. You've got backwards. If the world were a globe, a ball, and if you tried to get to Australia, you'd go over the edge. Any direction you went, you'd go over the edge. Only a globe has an edge. Obviously and logically, a flat Earth would not have an edge. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any water on it. But, it has, so, it but has if the earth, earth is flat, there has to be a fall-off oh, somewhere. No, the earth has no edge. Oh, no, but then how can it be flat? <laughs> according, according to Moses, who's the original writer for the Flat Earth Society, the world doesn't have a shape. It is just water. Water laying flat. Endless. The world the water is laying end. flat. Right, all water lays flat. I mean, that's the nature of water, to lay flat. Charles, how I... Water lay? Charles, I think the only, the only thing flat here is your head. <laughs> Have you ever seen any of that water? Charles, are you disputing... Where? Where, Charles, are, are you disputing our astronauts who have seen our beautiful round globe from outer space? Carnies, carnies. Oh, carnies. <laughs> not, a, not, a word, not a word. No one's been to the moon. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you say nobody has been no to the moon? No one has been to the moon. Oh, my God. The moon. The moon. Wait, wait. Are you, hold on. Are you saying... Are you saying that our trip to the moon was all phony? Phony. Totally. Oh. Completely phony. And the reason, and all these years that this insane hoax has been taught, it comes from Greece 2,500 years ago, it's called the Greece ball religion, claiming the world is a ball. No, no proof had ever been found for this insane belief. Well, so, what proof do you have that the Earth is flat? Let me get to who started the space program. Nick Khrushchev in Russia. 
the atheist communist yeah. since they could find no proof and he wanted to do away the Bible is a flat earth book Jesus Christ ascended straight up Jesus never up said the earth down. was flat oh yes he ascended oh, up no, 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 up no. up and down heaven is above the earth in fact and the only part of the Bible that's claimed written by God himself is the Ten Commandments and within those commandments you'll find in Exodus 24 it states the earth is flat it states you shall not make a graven image and have from heaven above or earth beneath or the water underneath the earth in other words that says the world is flat see the whole point of all hopes is, is to do away with Christianity but to Charles, do away with sanity but Charles, our time is gone all I can say is Charles you got a little studying to do the earth is round I'll be right back good night everybody